Microsoft just released the Fel3 Medium, a new lightweight state-of-the-art open model trained with the Fel3 datasets, which is a synthetic data and a public domain available data on the web. And today I wanted to share with you how we can fine-tune it using the ANSLAS. The Fel3 Medium is a 4K instruct is a 14 billion parameters. According to Microsoft, the Fel Medium, the 4 billion parameter model, is beating both the open source and closed source models that are much larger than him in terms of size. For example, in terms of Lama 3 Instruct 8 billion, the medium is beating it. And the mixer, it's even be also Fel 3 is beating it in terms of the performance and the benchmark that have been provided in the paper, technical paper of Microsoft itself. I'm going to leave you the link for it if you want to read it. It's very interesting actually. They're even talking about the weakness of the large language model capability itself, but not mentioning the medium version. They are only talking about the Fel3 Mini, which have been released like weeks ago. So if you want to test it and get your hands on it, there is two places that I found that you can use in it. The Azura chat from Microsoft and this public domain chat lmsys.org. When I wanted to test Philly 3 medium, I asked a few questions. The first one is about can you provide ways to eat combinations of banana and dragon fruits, which I got this question actually from Hagen Face and I tried it out. It generated this long text. The other one is about workouts. I asked it what's the most effective, the most effective triceps muscles workout and it gave me actually a bunch of workout that you can do and all of them are correct but when i tested in mass a little bit advanced mass or complex mass it didn't turn out to be well this equation actually i used it in so many tests before when i'm testing models and the answer was very wrong actually the right answer is shown up here and i asked it in the logic like linda has three sisters paul has four sisters can linda and paul be siblings this is testing the logic of the model and here in the last line such as half sibling or step sibling is possible it is possible that linda and paul could be sibling but with the information provided is unlikely so in terms of logic it's not the greatest honestly but it's decent and one of this tricky question is 5050 is less than 560 and it got this question correct so i will give it like 6 out of 10 in terms of overall model in some area it's performing very well for its medium size and basically a almost tiny model that you can run but in terms of logic it's not comparing with something like lama 3 or mixer of expert 87b let's talk about how we're gonna fine tune it unless you have like 40 gigabytes of dedicated ram to fine tune it we can do that honestly without it so as you can see the requirement just for fine tuning the fill 3 medium is a lot as you can see it require at minimum around of 30 31 8 gigabyte system ram and about for gpu is at least at least 40 gigabyte i don't know which gpu that have 14 gigabyte and this is based on so ensure that you have at least 201 gigabyte available that disk space which is too much i don't have this requirement i mean so i'm gonna share with you another method that we can fine tune fill 3. say hello to my little friend Anslas. this package is awesome honestly i discovered it lately and i have been trying to use it and share it with other it's providing a pre-written google collab or free tier that you can fine tune your own model with we are gonna fine tune the fill 3 but i already provide the lama 3 you can fine tune lama 3 with it there is different option over here so that's enough talking let's talk about the code itself i'm gonna leave the link for the description for this code of course it's already pre-written for you but just let's let's take a look at it the first thing that's already pre-written for you is downloading what's necessarily for running this code. Of course, Anslaus, we need to download it from GitHub, the XFormer, TRL, Biffit, XRelate, and Bits and Bytes. All this library is from Hugging Face and being used 
in other training models. What Unslaws does for you, basically a pre-written code that's already optimized for you. All you have to do is use it on the data set that you want. And it's also explaining how you can do use the data set for you. It's already providing you with a template for each model that's already have in its package. It's providing, here it's setting up the max sequence links, the data type, the loading for bit, true or false. And here is all the model that's provided by Unsolos itself. As you can see here, here setting the model, tokenization, and start to call the language, the model that we're going to train, the fill 3 medium 4K instruct. We're not training the mini, mini one or the small one, it's a medium, which the newest one that came out, and setting the max sequence, the data type, the load in 4 is true or false and it's already have been set over here second step is setting the LoRa adapter and it's already have been done for us here you don't have to change anything over here unless you want to to play with it a little bit and now for the data preparation step this is the format you need to follow when you are trying to format the data set that you are going to use it doesn't matter which one but this is an example of the data set they are using in the Unslash code, the Ganko share GBT style. And here is leaving note to train on compilation, ignore the user input. Basically, if you wanted to complete or compilation kind of GBT functionality, ignore the user input inside the data. And now for the formatting the data itself to the first three template. The mapping is over here. The role is from the coming from the content is the value and the user is a human and the assistant is the gbt and as you can see here his the chat template is for three and he's passing the tokenization tokenizer for it i'm going to leave you a link also for this hugging face it's giving you an example how you can do formatting prompts as a functionality but it is done over here formatting prompts prompt functionality and he's importing the data set you can change this data set, but you have to change the column in over here. Basically, the from, the value, the human, and the GBT. And here is an example of the format of the new data after you did it. As you can see here in the conversation, you can see that from is the human, the value, what is the typical weight, age of pulp in the light box. Or this example, it's the same format, basically from and a value, from and a value. And it's like conversation is going on. Like the one is the first one is sent by human, the second one is sent by GBT, and so on. And as you can see, the format is totally different. This is look like kind of JSON format, but this is just a text. You have to follow this one for the text, not the conversation or completion, basically. And here, this part is talking about if you're looking to make your own chat template, not being defined by someone. And here you have to use change templating regime. And they are already provided stripped version of it, as you can see here. But this is not necessarily unless you want to create your own template. And here came the most important part, training the model itself. Of course, he's, set, he's already providing us with the supervised fine-tuning training parameters. As you can see, he's basing the model, the dataset, the, the data set field that we want to do. The thickest one, which I already show you, the max sequence, that is it, number of rocks, and here the training parameters already is provided by, by the Unslaws. And you can see here the best size, the step, warm up steps, the max step that you want to learn rate that you can be changed if you want to play around with it in the login. And here, this code actually is not important, but like you can not show it, it just show you the reserved memory already available in the T4 free tier of Google Collab. And when he hit run, it took it about half hour to complete the 60 steps, the inference, or how we can basically use our model that we created. After it's trained, get chat template, provide the tokenizer, the chat template is for three, and the mapping is also the role. Here, the message from the human, and the value will gonna be basically continue the Fibonacci sequence. Which I think he already used this example in other training code, but doesn't matter. Basically, this is the first message that will be sent. 
and here this input passing all the parameters it need and it gave you an answer over here the next number in the Fibonacci sequence is 13 the end it doesn't continue which all right but yeah it got the questions got the answer correct and here is providing also text streamer you can use text streamer saving and loading the fine tool model that we created to save the fine model as LoRa adapter either use the push to hug and face up or save be retrained for local save on your machine basically note this only save LoRa adapter and not the full model to save the 16 bit or the GGUF scroll down basically it's the last part if you want to save the entire model not the adapters model save train that will locally basically copy paste the entire train model the adapter model of it on your machine or push it to hugging face which is uncom you can uncomment it here and pass the token that you have for hugging face now if you want to load the whole adapter we just save the inference set to false to true changes basically to true and he here is using it using the adapter that is already created he's loading the adapter that is already created and mixing it with the original model and using it and here is an example message from human the value what is the famous tall tower in paris the second option is using the auto model for bef casual lm which is provided by hagen face and it give you a little bit better format if you run it out it's you don't have to extract the stuff from it you just bluntly give you the format of the users and the assistant answer now for saving the entire model it provided a lot of options like merge to 16 bit and 4 bit and the LoRa options adapter and if you want to create the GGUF conversion of it there is also code written for it as you can see it's like basically you just have to change the data and format it on your own way and create your own model using it dance loss fine tuning for the firstly is medium not only is 15 less in memory use but also twice faster in terms of performance this why is i really recommend it when you want to fine tune a model just go to the unslaughtered github finished and check if it's available there and use it if you can finally thank you for watching this video i hope that you learned something new and enjoyed it i'm gonna leave all the links in the description please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you already not subscribe and hit the notification button and see you on the next video